been any different if we had had the internet? Well, after I must tell you that after um, after the sugar cubes in '92, uh, there was a small hiatus of my activity um, until '95 when I when I thought I better get out of Iceland or do something, and um, I found I decided to stay and, and I did the Siberian Net Cafe. Um, so I see they've got the internet working temporarily. Yes. <laughs> I told you all of this, I could have gone over there and done all of that. But uh, so, basically, um, what I'm, I'm, I'm getting at is that sugar cubes, I don't think, uh, would have been, uh, would have, have done things. And I'm not sure that the sugar cubes would have done anything different from, from what we did back then if we had the internet today. Of course, we would have had a home page. Um, of course, we would have um, would have had like a um, you know got on the whole whole um, uh, internet marketing stuff. Um, we used what we call today traditional means. We did interviews and we did tours and we did TV and we did radio. Uh, th this is the traditional way of 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 keeping things things in control for. For, for us, at the moment, we have six people in the band. All decisions were made collective. So if somebody did not like a thing, it wasn't done. So you can imagine it's gone. It's, um, you can imagine what our internet site would look like. Um, I can, actually. It, um, it would have, it would be, OK, it's on. Um, uh, our internet site would probably not look like Post Digital. Uh, it would have had, we would have had to, to uh, probably compromise a little bit on what we wanted to have on the internet site as the sugar cubes, as the collective sugar cubes, or even that uh, that our, our our that our site would probably say the sugarcubes uh, dot com. Uh, site under construction because we will be discussing what we, we would be doing. And I think that's most likely just to, but that way we wouldn't lose control. We would be in control because our site would be under construction. Because some of the band's website, which uh, I've seen, they do not take into account that there, there is a, there's a group of thinking people behind the band, um, to put it bluntly. Um, we're going to have a sip of water. So if I move on from <coughs> sugar cubes onto what I do today, is that um, I went into a hiatus, started the um, Siberian Net Cafe in 95, and I didn't start making music again until the year 2000. And then, for the first time, um, I started making music uh, when I was alone. And uh, I started using a computer, and I made songs on a computer, which was a revolution for me because I always worked in a band with a drummer, and a guitarist, and a bass player, and I always had to uh, work with somebody else. But for the first time, I was alone, and then uh, I found a partner in Curver who was also a computer guy, a computer person, but also a musician, and an artist. And we teamed up to make... Uh, a solo record, my solo record, which was to be my solo record. Uh, and uh, it was called Einar Goes Digital, uh, like Frankie goes to Hollywood. <laughs> I went digital, and therefore we got the band Goes Digital. Um, soon, when we started Goes Digital, it was quite, um, quite obvious for me what I had to do. And you can see that I started blogging in my, May 2003. Um, and here is probably our, see, we finish our record. And so on May, tw May 20th, 2003, Ghost Digital starts blogging, and we've not missed out a month in blogging. And I've never swindled on an entry into the blog. But what I started doing with Ghost Digital back then was that I, uh, I got a blog with, you call them today, I think, Mobile blogs, you can blog from your mobile. 
Um, I, I must say that back then, then mobile blogging wasn't quite a thing that you did. And I, I used all these new technologies and I adapted them straight into Ghost Digital. Um, and uh, there I was again doing it myself. Um, I, had, I have a, a Mac computer and so for, for example here in the videos, um, even though we don't sell very many records, I think our last record is on record for having sold one. Um, we've done all of those videos, and here is actually the video bank with the songs Where Is My Money. Um, and so here I'm, I'm making videos with my camera like, they, like, like they're recording me with back there. I take all the videos into my computer and I make pop videos for TV stations. And this is like, you know, something which is like, it is the revolution for me. And if I try to think about how the supercubes would have done this, um, I think that would be, have been, I think the word awesome would be fantastic if we would have had like, um, like six different versions of what the sugar cubes are like. But for like for Ghost Digital, uh, yeah, this is a video I've done. So, uh, this is a PC. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Can you help me? Thank you. I'm totally lost with computers. <laughs> but, uh, so, basically, with the band... Uh, no, just go back. Go back. We don't need to listen to this. This is awful racket. <laughs> so, basically, what I'm, I'm, I'm showing you here is that, um, that we, we use videos and, and the blog and, and uh, I put, like, you know, I blog. Now, today, it's, it's quite normal that, that people are blogging, but when we started blogging, I, I think there was, there was two other bands, possibly in Iceland, who were blogging. So we, we, I was just using the technology to, to reach out to more people, and then we added our MySpace, and today we, we get people asking us to do concerts from all over the world uh, through MySpace, uh, which 